Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a video about some of the upgrades that I made to my uh, CR10 S4. Alright, the S4 just has a little bit bigger bed than the standard CR10. Alright, so um, I've got the uh, Pets Fang mod here. Um, I have the, um, the uh, Volcano Hot End, uh, the E3D. Uh, extruder, I have the BL Touch, and um, I also have under here the Canovo heater, and then you can see some of the magnet magnets I'm using to do the removable bed. All right, you see that removable bed. You know, um, I also have. Um, what else have I done? You know, this is the standard uh, filament sensor. Um, I'm running, don't mind the mess. I have a SSR kit here, similar to this. And this allows me to control the Kinovo uh, heater from Marlin without using a separate control unit. So that's great. All right. But anyway, the main purpose of this video is to just, just dem demonstrate the removable bed. I want to bring your attention to this part. This is just something I made for my wife. But as you can see, there isn't any place that I could place a spatula that wouldn't damage this part to get it off the bed. You know, my goal is to have a clean surface. So I'm not going to do that. There's no way if I use something like this to dig under there, it will certainly get it off, but it will leave scar marks. So with this removable bed, um, you can just flex it and get the parts off. All right. And I want to bring attention to the quality too, because as you can see here, there are no layer shifts so I don't have to use these bed clips to hold the bed in place the magnets are strong enough to hold it without causing any layer shifts so bye bye bed clips all right you, you won't need those anymore and um, I'll see if I can get this off with one hand but uh, you know it would be Something like that. You can kind of hear it flexing. Let me let me turn it this way too. Look, hear that? Hear that? All right. Let me just do one more. Oh, okay. I'll do one this way. And one this way. Okay. We'll put it back down. And, oh, one of them is, oh, is it? Okay, let's see. Ooh. It should come off. There we go. Look at that. No tool marks. Even the tape is still nice. Let's see if we can get this one. Now, I'm doing this with one hand. If I had both hands, I could do a better job of flexing the uh, the board and getting these pieces off. And as you can see, it sticks pretty well. I might have to put this camera down to get this one off. Oh. Yeah. I think I'm still going to put this video like this. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Do I, do I have to flex this again? Well, what I can tell you is that's great adhesion. All right. Now, the only reason I'm using tape because this was like a kind of not a proof of concept i mean we all know it we everyone's done this already prusa to name someone but i have some uh e3d easy mats that i'm gonna try and also ooh, tape might come up on this one okay but guess what tape's replaceable but the bottom is fine, and I will have to re reprint that. But 
I just wanted to show the removable bed. All right, so I does this defeat the purpose if I've broken the model, <laughs> but the bottom is fine? Anyway, <laughs> you guys tell me what you think. I think this is great. Um, I'm going to, you know, continue to refine it, but you guys tell me what you think.